paintbrush onto this wall and I said, to paint it just in one color would be hard to do <laughs> with a brush this big. <laughs> I mean, the crown jewel in Woodward's body of work is his mural at the company headquarters of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey. The masters of circus magic recruited Woodward to capture the greatest show on earth in a mural of dazzling proportions. Woodward's whimsical painting of circus imagery is the same size as Michelangelo's piece, The Last Judgment, in the Sistine Chapel. The vivid colors and thrilling circus snapshots make up the largest mural painted by a single person in the 20th century. You see there are little clusters of composition, like the horses is one unit, that's the tigers are one unit. There are these little units, and then to make them all swing together. You cannot see it because the color is so strong, but if you see it in black and white, it's a very harmonious uh, thing with a continuous uh, flow to it. I painted the first layer in a warehouse. I'd read it in Warrington, but we could only do half of it at a time, and we had pulleys and ropes and tackles and giant pipes with this cannabis roll, we, we threaded a cable through a huge, long pipe, plastic pipe, several of them. Here is a joint. When they unroll this piece and they unroll that piece, that tiger swiss can match perfectly. Kenneth Feld, producer of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey, said, it is an amazing piece of art that inspires all of the proud employees and visitors who see it each day. restaurant group looked to Woodward's expertise in creating a completely original establishment based around this premier room, the Palm Terrace. The majority of the responses are, are definitely um, taken very well. Uh, I, I feel the customers thoroughly in, enjoy uh, the paintings uh, behind me. Sometimes uh, it almost feels like it's alive you know, and, mo and moving um, during a busy day. It's people, uh, the overall um, consensus by the public is a very fun one. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people prefer to sit in here because of the, of the paintings. Woodward's interpretation of idyllic imagery infuses his mural with a sense of play and joy. Two qualities reflected in his own personality. The realism is no coincidence. Woodward paints from real-life models and photographs of friends and acquaintances as a basis for the mural's figures. He effectively combines modern faces with classic scenes from Greek mythology. Woodward's mural at the Thomas Balch Library takes the viewer back in time through the history of Loudoun County. The four themed panels depict the golden age of agriculture, the study of Native Americans, Civil War's effect on Loudoun County, and the transition to modern times. 
The mural that is in the uh, main entry reference area is a focal point for people who come in to visit the library. They largely are touring because they're visiting Loudoun County and Leesburg for historical reasons and that is a timeline and we use it as a focal point when we give tours because it illustrates the history of Loudoun County. People are, are fascinated with it and they will stand and look all the way around and point out the different images and people and events that are there so it's a, a good teaching tool and a good representation of the history of Leesburg, Loudoun County, and fits in with our mission as a library, which is history and genealogy. Woodward drew from a strong historical narrative developed by a local historian in order to develop his painting for the library. An artist that consistently works from planning sketches, Woodward said that his rough drawings of the mural's images dissolved into the mural. Stretched across 498 square feet and spanning millennia of history, from Greco-Roman to modern times, the Great Odyssey of Medicine enables onlookers to visualize the historical progression of medicine. The expansive oil painting teams with 17 historical pioneers of the field. Hippocrates has said that illnesses were caused by one of the four humors being out of balance. Cholera, sang, black blood, not melanoma, and phlegmatic. Braces for broken bones. It's a orthopedic suit of armor made in Nuremberg in the 1500s. And I thought it had such a wonderful graphic impact. There are painted areas that are pure abstraction, yet the whole composition flows together in a grand unfolding of history and spatial complexity.